Let's not get wet while you ride. Ooh, dirty talk. Rain gear. It's always a question in the back of my mind. I've never had a good pair. Today's the day that I'm going to look at a good pair of rain gear. We're going to have two that we're going to get to pick from. We're at Pig Trail Harley Davidson and Rogers, and let's get to it. So, no joke guys, I talk about this a lot. We talk about this a lot. We've came to the discussion and I really don't know what even to talk about because I don't know nothing about rain gear. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a ton you can pick from. But the thing of it is, we can all go online and order something in and we don't know the quality and then we really don't know about size. And today we're gonna to talk about quality, two different makes of rain gear, first gear and a Harley Davidson and how they fit, that's a big deal. Take the time and get the ship fit and right because big time important. Depending on if you're running chaps underneath, depending on the size of your body, of course, if it runs true to your size, and if you're running a jacket underneath, there's a whole bunch of questions, right? And you are filling me in, right, Jenny? Yes. So if you don't know who this is, this is Jenny at Pick Trail Harley Davidson here in Rogers, and we're going to go over rain gear. Yep. Let's just talk about size. Let's hold off on quality and the brand make. Let's talk about size. Most rain suits are sized to accommodate a jacket underneath or chaps underneath. Okay. Um, so typically you're gonna stick about the same size that you would for a regular riding jacket. I have already tried on two brands. Like I said, they have First Gear and Harley Davidson. My size is usually a 2X, but the 2X in First Gear was too big. So I had to drop down to just 1X, but in Harley-Davidson, I was able to do 2X. So a little bit different size comparisons when I've actually put it on and felt the brain. So I'm gonna show you what they look like on, and then I'm gonna tell you what I think about these brands. Guys, as you can see, it has a rain fly here. Uh, it has the Velcro all the way up on this one, as you can see. Of course, a zipper all the way up. It also has a hood inside that unzips. Roll this out. It all does a neat job of tucking away. It has a bib type that Velcro's around your neck. So the inner lining, as you can see down there, this all rolls up into a bag. So we'll try this on. Like I said, this is the extra large in first gear. Uh, you know, I always go to the zipper. You know, we're always going really quick and I want to grab the zippers and get the stuff zipped up very quick. I have a problem with my beard getting in the way. So this thing has two zippers. So zipper feels stout. I have to watch my beard, but you can see the just of it. Velcro there, of course they have your wrist Velcro. We tighten up here. Already building heat. It's like 75 in here and I'm about 120 already. Um, they have a little bit of adjustment here around your elbow. That's a lot of adjustment actually, guys. Of course it depends on what layers you're wearing. Um, and then it also has adjustment around your waist which I can't see because my beard's in the way, so I have to just kind of fill around. Jenny, help me. No, I'm joking. Oh, so, you got it. You got it. So we pull here and kind of adjust your waist. So we're pulling here to fit a little tighter, which I like that. Because a lot of times, you know, when you're riding this thing, it gets bigger and bigger. It feels like it's flapping in the wind like you're a tent. Now I'm gonna go into the pockets. Pockets are pretty important, right? Velcro pockets. 
Wow, they're a little smaller than I thought. Well, they feel good though. So you can get your hand in the pocket. It's about the size of your pocket in there. You got left and right. They also have that interior pocket. Let's see, is it left? To my left side, interior pocket. You can get your hand in it. Probably get your cell phone in there. You got one on your right side as well. So two interior breast pockets. Inner liner, like you can see, guys, so that doesn't stick to you. You guys wear a rain jacket and get wet and doesn't have that liner, you know how that'll stick to you. So this is to keep that from doing it. So, overall, the fit of the jacket fits. You know, you can adjust it, a lot of adjustability to it. It's, it seems to be a little stiffer than what I was expecting. Let's see the fit going up. That's what I'm always going into shoulder width and whenever you're grabbing the bars. It does ride up a little bit. I can fit around my waist, but overall, I dig it. Now that I got this first gear on, yeah. what can you tell me about this? So you had mentioned the adjustability in the wrist, the elbow, um, and in the waist. We do have adjustability in the hips as well. So you can draw it in to help seal that around your waist a little bit, as well as there's an extended tail back here to where it gives you a little bit more coverage. And then there's some reflectivity to it as well to help you be more seen. So let's get to the Harley Davidson now. Check it out. All right. Now we're going to get to the Harley Davidson one. A little different as far as Velcro. It's just Velcroed in certain spots down here. And then a good rain fly with the zipper. A little different. I like that. It's got an inside pocket here, which we were looking at. It has uh, two pockets here. Okay, so it's a Velcro and zipper. Let's see how big their pockets are. I always want to know. Okay, that's, so the Harley Davidson's got a bigger pocket, so I can spread my hand out now. Now let's try it on and see what it feels like. Curious about the adjustability. It does have a hood that unzips in the back too. Um, it has a flap on there. I'm gonna do the flap. James won't help me. So are these hood? Did you say they're helmet, helmet friendly. friendly? Yes. How does a helmet friendly work? Because it's thin and uh, lightweight enough to wear under most helmets, you should have the space to be able to wear this. It's gonna be a lot thinner than a do-rag or a bandana. Okay, cool. All right, let's try it on. Okay, so like I said, that first gear was a extra large, this is 2X. So the sizing is a little different. Um, of course, adjustable down here around your wrist. And then, like I said, it's orange, reflective, super bright. I'm gonna check out the zipper, the next thing I go to. Super great zip. Ah, man, this fits like legitly lightweight material. I'll be honest though, it doesn't have as much adjustability as the first gear. Uh, of course, they had it in their elbows and around their waist and down at the bottom, which I think I do on this one too, yes, don't I, Jenny? Yes, okay, over here at the sides. sides. So I can pull that in a little bit. Okay. And it has a drop tail as well? Correct. Okay. I'll just tell you my first thoughts right now. I like the adjustability on the first gear, a lot of adjustability but I like the material of the Harley Davidson. They're both in comparison within, what, 10 or $15 of each other? Around about, yeah. So the price point there is not that much difference. I think it's gonna come into preference. I think it's gonna come into what, how you like your stuff to fit and adjustability. But uh, I do like how this one is pliable. It's really lightweight. It's a, it just feels good, you know what I'm saying? So, Jenny, when it comes to this Harley Davidson, what can you tell me about it? So there is a couple other adjustability points that you didn't missed. miss. You missed, yes, it's gonna be back here. So you do have a collar adjustment. So um, a lot of rain suits don't have a collar adjustment to where it's kind of like a funnel. This actually has an adjustment up here at the collar to where you can tighten it in to where you're not getting as much of a funnel under your hood. As well as your helmet friendly hood here um, does have adjustment around the face as well. Oh. Okay. And then the reflectivity on this is actually a 360 reflectivity, which means that no matter what angle light comes at it, it's going to refract light back. 360? So, yes. 
So that's one thing that's uh, always a plus because you were saying earlier, when it's raining, that's visibility. Correct. Totally makes sense. Because I was already bitching about the orange. I was like, oh my God, the orange, you know? And she's like, really, you need it when it's raining. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. And, you know, you gotta listen to the girl. She knows what she's talking about. Uh, so I took my beard in, of course, guys. Um, okay, well, I guess the next thing, Jenny, is we gotta talk about pants. And I mean, guys, I know it sucks coming in here to the dealership and like trying on these clothes. All you wanna do is grab them and go, but we need to slow down, get somebody like Jenny here at Pig Trail Harley-Davidson, let them size us and fit us. It's so important. So guys, now we're gonna talk about pants and the fitting of pants. <laughs> so one thing Jenny and I were talking about earlier there's like, do you run with chaps underneath or do you not? You wanna have enough room to set on that bike. Um, one trick I have found in cold, wet weather is put your chaps on and throw your rain gear over the top. It'll hold that heat in, plus keep you dry. I didn't used to do that until Steph and I really started running the roads and that is something I do now for sure. So what we're gonna do here is the extra large on the first gear. Um, as I can see already, they have a little bit of adjustment here around the waist with a snap. Here we have the elastic on both sides. Give you that little stretchy around the belly. And uh, we're gonna move on down to the legs. So it's just a Velcro pull is yep. what they have on that with a zipper. Okay, so it just totally opens up. Some of them have the pleat underneath. This one does not, which opens all the ways up, which could be a plus in a lot of ways. And you can see that they also have their liner in there too, so that rain gear doesn't stick to you when you get wet. Jenny, is there anything else you can add to these while we got them in our hand looking at them? Well, I did forget to mention on the jacket, but I can mention it on the pants. Both the jacket and the pants for the first year have their own pocket for them to roll into. So you actually can find it on the inside of the back of the pants but whenever you roll them up they have their own little pockets that they roll into inside each of the garments so they're a bag in yourself yes that's cool that's cool we talk about this a lot too because as we get older or we just got a lot of clothes on or just like me just stiff the zipper link i've i've ran a pair that only a quarter up on your leg which was trouble for me to get my boot through as you can see here this first gear comes all the way up to your back your knee and i'm gonna try these on and see how easy they are to get on so you ready which the pleat not been there actually yes all right so get these pants on i can tell you right now these are too small I can't get them up over my butt. So these are the extra large. Yes. So we went into all this work and I've got to get another pair of pants on again. But guys, take your time, do this, it's worth it because we're gonna have to run the roads. You don't want this to happen. If I was out in BFE, uh, I don't want to be doing this. So let's take these off. Right. What we got here? There's Jenny? a 2X okay. in the first gear. Two. But, uh, now we got two X in first gear and I'm gonna go after this. Just hang with me guys. Somebody give me a water and a fan. Okay, here we go. So these are these do not have a bib with them. They're just stretchies. Adjustment, you can take it back, get that nice tight fit down there. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. <laughs> okay, 2X first gear and a wore out hairy guy, but we're doing it. No pockets, there's no pockets on these pants. No pockets on the panel loonies at all. All right, so I got these first gears on. Had to go with a 2X. One thing I do not like about them, they don't have any pockets. I want a pocket. One thing I do like about it, it doesn't have that gusset down at the bottom, which holds the zip together. 
and with it coming all the way apart it's easier to get my leg down and through just to be honest um so with saying that can you tell me anything that i haven't caught with these pants Jen? no i i think you covered it pretty well it does have a little bit of reflectivity on there with the first gear on the back left thigh and then a little bit of reflectivity down at the ankle okay how do you think i look in these pants you look like you are ready for rain yeah ready ready for ready for rain ready for rain right as rain now where do we wear these at boy you gotta wear them up where you have them right. because water travels you want to have more coverage between the two garments than not so wearing them up at your natural waist versus your hips is optimal. So you want to pull it up over the beer, beer belly? Yes. Yeah, pull that beer belly, tuck the beer belly into these rain pants, boys and mostly us boys, that's where we want it. Like I said, no pocket. I don't even know what to do with my hands. Okay, whenever you go ready to try on that rain gear, think about six months ahead, like Jenny was just saying, Go do some hot yoga before you get in here. Uh, that may be a drawback for all of us trying on rain gear because we don't want to embarrass ourselves. But then again, I don't want to spend the money and get the wrong size. That would suck too, right? All right, Jenny, what we got here? The men's rain suit for the Harley Davidson pants. The men's okay. pants in 2X. This comes as a set. Okay. So you have the 2X jacket, you would do the 2X pants. And then the first gear that we we're just looking at, they're sewed separately, and the pants are unisexed. Correct. Okay. But Harley Davidson is not. You buy them as a set, these particular ones. Correct. And guys, I do want to make this clear right now. There's tons of different rain gear out there. This is just what we have on hand right now. So this is our comparison. All right. Ooh. All right. First you thing, Jimmy, I do see mm -hmm. is these are bips. Yes. So I have suspenders. Yes, you do. And can I take these on and off? Yes, you can. There is a nifty little flap right here where you can just undo that and it slides right off. Okay. So you do not have to if you don't want to. Yes. Alrighty. And I... then they've got the liner inside as well. The line in there. This is look, one thing I noticed really quick, Jenny, is they have a pocket. They do have a pocket on the left thigh. Because where's your throttle at? Uh yeah right hand that's it <laughs> so let's see is it velcro and zipper yes sir okay let's check it out i want to see how big pockets are that means something you know good size pocket yeah i'm putting my machete in there my cell phone my diary my motorcycle diary would go right in there when i'm making the entries of my last day riding on my big long trip down to daytona all right let's put these on all right Hey, let's talk about the zippers over there. Ooh, something else I see, Jenny. Yes. It's reinforced right here. Yes. So this is called heat shield. It's so if you hit your pipes, it's not going to melt instantly. There are other brands out there I won't mention, but some of them will melt like styrofoam whenever you go to touch your exhaust, mm. <laughs> whenever yeah. you go to touch it, your pipes. Anything uh, hot. Anything melt. hot. So it's not, you know, you don't leave it on your pipes. Mm -hmm. But if you go to accidentally and you, you touch yeah. them real quick, it's not going to sit there and melt yeah. and cause a hole for you. Well, I can tell you another thing here too, because of riding over time, the wind flapping right in here mm -hmm. will get this thin and thin and finally wear out. So this is just on one side on both sides. Both sides. Both sides. I like that. Like I said, I've had them wear out guys right in there because they flop off on the wind and that thread gets thinner and thinner and will eventually separate. Okay, let's talk about the zipper down here, Jenny. So they got a boot ring, don't they? Yep. And then they got a Velcro at the bottom. Yes, for and some that, adjustability. Let me get this out straight here. So it's got reflective all the way up through there. See that? So the zipper there, okay, so they have a pleat in this one. So as you can see in, the, in uh, as you've seen earlier in the first gear, it did not have anything in here, which Harley Davidson does here. Uh, it goes up to, I'd say past my knee. I'll do this side too, Jenny. Jenny, show me to do this. Look at there. All right. And then I'm going to unzip this. All right. Good zipper. Pleat. Let's come on, Jenny. All right. Let's get my pants on, Jenny. All righty, all righty. Let's do that. Good to go. <sighs>
Tom. Just, just. Steady. Steady, boy. What do you guys think? Fitting? Does it look good? Feel good. Feel sexy. Feel the ride is running. Where's my other one, Jenny? It's in there. I'm, I'm not going to dig in there. You're going to get, get that. in there and get that for me? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Play him safe. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's get all zipped up here. So whenever you have a pleat in your rain pants, if you, uh, as you're holding the zipper, if you stick your other fingers inside past the zipper, pushing that pleat back while you zip down or zip up, it helps push that away from the zipper so you don't get caught up. Yeah, because only I undid it and got the pleat stuck in the zipper and Jenny had to fix it for me. So she's taught me to put my finger in there and run it down. But you can see it helps. We have a extra large here. 2XL. 2X. This yes. is 2X. So we have a 2X here in Harley Davidson. Feels good. I've got some room. I feel like a rodeo clown, but that's what it's about. It's up here high, like you said, I need it. I do like the suspenders, actually. I can tighten these up. I feel important. I feel like with my beard, Lincoln, in a sense. You know, Lincoln, Navigator. How do I look? Look good. Yeah, yeah, I feel good. Yeah. All right, let's try this pocket out for the ball. Yeah, I could use that. That's actually usable. I dig that. All right, so what's my overall thoughts in the pants? Well, the first gear, I like that it doesn't have a pleat because it makes it easier to get on. Um, the material in the first gear is a little stiffer. On these Harley Davidsons, I like the suspenders or the bib. I really do. Uh, the material seems to be a little lighter and more pliable. Um, the pleat is manageable. The color is doable. The biggest thing that I like about it, the two things I really like about the Harley Davidson, is the reinforced material here and the pocket. There's no doubt about it. And I think the bibs are pretty well suited for me as well. I was going to mention the bootstraps that are down there at the bottom of your pants. That's going to help keep your pants down. And then as well as the bibs that help keep your pants up whenever it's wet outside and your rain gear is wet uh, and you're potentially probably a little wet underneath it already yeah. because you had to pull under, get under an overpass if you haven't, didn't have it on already whenever the rain came through. Um, it helps hold everything into place so that way whenever you're riding, you don't have all of the ride up or ride down. Yeah, I've never had them with bibs or suspenders. I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. I think I like it a whole lot. So you can stay tuned and see which one I pick. So I do want to talk a little bit about sizes again. You guys do really need to try this stuff on. It's just like this here, the 2X. I can wear my chaps underneath there. Plenty enough room. It just goes with size and how they fit stuff. Everything's different. That's what I was saying earlier. Make sure you slow down, come in, find somebody helpful like Jenny at your Harley Davidson dealership, especially here in the Ozarks, you want to come to pick a Harley Davidson and Jenny will hook you up and help you get the right fit for your rain gear. All right, so Jenny, what do you got here? So I have the rain gaiters. These are Harley Davidson, as you can tell, they do have different sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, depending on your boot size. Um, the reason the rain gear doesn't come with this because a lot of people still do have waterproof boots But for those people that don't you can get these optional rain gaiters to put over your boots They do still have the heat shield on the toe caps and the inner calves okay, so As well as still I've, a stirrup. Okay, so I've never ran these So they just um, velcro from the rear Okay, yeah, you just totally stick your foot in just slide your foot right in there. Right and then you bring it around. This is not necessarily my size. Gotcha. But just for viewing purposes, you just velcro them right on. Okay. And you're so, protected. And then your heel sticks sticks through here and this goes underneath your heel, between your heel and your sole. Yep. And then they've got a Harley Davidson rubber sole underneath of that. Okay. Two big differences I seen in the rain gear. First gear and Harley Davidson. The first gear, zipper. So the zipper is a waterproof zipper. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. 
it does not have the pleat there. So what they have is this, like I said, waterproof zipper. Looks like a lot of camping stuff that we use. And like I said, no pleat, which does make it easier to get on and off. So we go down to the Harley Davidson, the one I have on right now. So you can see it has the pleat underneath, but the zipper is pretty much a regular zipper, but they have that pleat underneath. Size does matter. You guys get in there and try your rain gear on, make sure it's fitted properly. You don't want to get up there on some trip and it doesn't go over your ass. So what have I learned today at Picro Harley Davidson here in Rogers? A lot about rain gear. And what have I learned about rain gear? Go in and try the show on.